An investment of over US $400,000 was facilitated by the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, or DVRP, towards the Materials Lab of the Department of Infrastructure, Port and Transport, or DIPT. The Materials Lab of the DIPT supports engineering designs in the construction industry. Quality testing of construction materials such as concrete, asphalt and soil is the function of the lab. Before materials are used in the construction of roads, buildings, housing or any infrastructure, they are tested at the DIPT lab. The materials lab is a very vital, critical arm um, within the DIPT. It's not just an income generating department, or, I'm sorry, section or unit, but it's a section that is vital as it relates to quality control in our construction for civil works, public works, both the public and private sector as well. And um, when we say quality control, we look at it from quality control and quality assurance. Quality control from the contractor's perspective, quality assurance from the client's perspective. Hence, the investment from DVRP resulted in the retrofit of the lab, procurement of essential equipment, and training of staff. Over the course of a week, the training was conducted by the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering of the University of the West Indies, or UWE St. Augustine. Of course, UWE was engaged. We wanted somebody within the Caribbean, of course, transfer of knowledge, etc. So we thought UWE at the time, with their materials, that would be the best suited at the time to, because they understood um, what was happening in the Caribbean. We don't want to go too far if people are not accustomed to our climate and the materials that we deal with, so we stuck with UWE. Throughout its history, the lab has played an integral role in the operations of the DIPT all over the island. The investment and upgrade will ensure the country's infrastructure adheres to international standards. This is Jacques Hinson-Compton of the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project.